in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Mass. Today we see the healing power of Jesus is at work. Jesus is healing people in different uh, situations and environments and styles. With the, the mother of Peter, he just used words. To others, just an, an action. But all in all, he does something and people get better. Jesus is teaching us to believe that he has healing power. He, is, he loves us and he can attend to our needs. So we only need to believe and ask his presence in our daily life. As we are not prepared to offer the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your way, by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as essential men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it, and indeed, you were still not ready for it since you are still un unspiritual. Is it, isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and the wrangling that there is among you from the way that you go on believing like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual than your slogans? I'm for Paul and I'm for Apollos. After all, what is Apollos and what is Paul? They are servants who brought their faith to you. Even the different ways in which they brought it, it were, they brought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting, Apollos did the watering, but God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters, only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering, and each will duly be paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers of God, you are God's farm, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, help the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the, on the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring good news to the poor. 
and the freedom to prisoners. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on them, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, holy, you are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and went, and when they had brought him up, they caught him up with. They caught up with him. They wanted to prevent him leaving them, but he answered, "I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that's what I was sent to do." And he continued continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread you offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted out God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His. The glory. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at, at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of good of all His church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the coins of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, <coughs> broke it <coughs> and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that by <coughs> taking of the body, and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis our Pope, Charles Gaucho our Bishop, Eugene Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ will say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let's pray. Renewed by this bread <coughs> from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food, <coughs> excuse me, being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and save the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all and have a blessed day.